Hello you guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Patty if you're new here and if you're not, hey, welcome back to another vlog. I do apologize, there was no video last week and I honestly don't know when this video is going up. Today is Monday, November 18th. I was just checking my computer to make sure I had the actual date right. Ah, I, I didn't have a vlog last week and like I said, I don't know when this vlog is gonna go up. I guess I'm gonna just go ahead and get ready. I thought I would do a quick little like no makeup makeup getting ready for the day. It is the afternoon, it's like 12.30. I just had therapy and I don't like to do makeup before therapy because I almost always cry and um, today was definitely a time for crying because I have been feeling just kind of off, which is why there was no video last week. I had every intention of posting it. I do have footage that week. Well, I guess really the last two weeks, I just was not really feeling like myself. I was feeling quite off um, for a number of reasons, personal reasons. And I don't want to like really get into it because I don't, I don't like to talk about things until they're like done and like completely worked through and these things are not but my mirror just totally moved um but today's therapy session was really really helpful i am the biggest proponent of therapy i started therapy when i was in college if i forget to like tell you what products i'm using i will have them all in the description but yeah, I started therapy for the first time in college. I actually had like reached out. I had a bit of a tough time adjusting during that phase of my life. And so I had initially reached out to like the therapy counseling services through my school in the fall. And I, I think I just wasn't ready. I wasn't ready. I think I had done like an initial intake appointment and I never really followed up or like they didn't have availability and I wasn't really chasing after it i was just kind of like hmm, you know they don't have the availability it wasn't meant to be you know whatever and i think that i truly just wasn't ready let's fast forward to spring of my freshman year of college i was and i reached back out and i got matched with a therapist that i honestly feel like i got really lucky i feel like we just instantly clicked and I don't know if it was like at the end of that semester or what, but she parted ways with the school and then I started seeing her in her private practice. And I feel like that was a really helpful time for me to be starting therapy. Like I said, I was having a bit of a time, a, a bit of a difficult time adjusting. It was just like, I was living on my own for the first time, college, you know, just like a lot of growing pains, at least for me. I know that not everyone gets lucky enough to hit it off with the first person that they see for a therapy session. And I think that for a lot of people, it takes to sort of like shopping around. We were going to part ways because I was going to study abroad in during my junior year. And then, you know, the pandemic happened. And so I did start doing remote therapy with her. And I don't know, I just stopped like it was kind of like a parallel series of events as to what happened during my freshman year of college so last year I was in law school and in the fall I was like I need to be in therapy like something is going on yeah something was going on <laughs> but um I had done like a lot of research trying to find someone who I thought might be a right fit and I found my current therapist and I reached out to her I had reached out to others as well, but like for some reason, like it wasn't going to work out or I had reached out to other people like prior when I wasn't really feeling like I needed to be in therapy, but I was like, mm, therapy might be helpful. But when I was in law school, like starting law school, I was like, no, like I need to be in therapy. Like something's not right. But yeah. So I had reached out to my current therapist and you know i had already had my class schedule and just like her availability and my class schedule were just like they were not matching up and so i was like okay well hmm, thank you like I'll, I'll maybe i'll reach out next semester and i never tried reaching out to any other therapists so again i don't know maybe i just like wasn't fully ready even though i knew i wanted to be in therapy and i should be in therapy like Clearly, I didn't care enough to continue searching. I reached back out to her during the spring semester because I was like, 
I think like maybe it can work this semester and it did. I'm really glad that I restarted therapy when I did because then a couple months later is when I had my big epiphany about like, you know, do I need to leave law school? Is this where I'm supposed to be? Is this like really what I want out of life? Is this for me? Is it not? Anyway, so I've been seeing her since, I wanna say last January. So almost a full year, which you guys, I cannot believe like at the end of our session, we were trying to schedule like my next appointment and she's like, oh, well like next week is Thanksgiving. I was like, excuse me? Like, no, it's in two weeks, isn't it? No, Thanksgiving is next week, which is crazy because December is the week after that. So that is just kind of, it, it shook me a little bit. It shook me to my core, if I'm being totally honest, because I was like, how is time passing by so quickly? Um, I think it's just, it's nice to be able to talk to a third party, a neutral person who is not involved in your life, doesn't really know you and is able to, obviously they're trained to talk you through things, process things, and the lighting just totally changed. I'm gonna turn my light on. Um, but yeah, highly, highly recommend therapy if it's something you've been thinking about. I also know, I don't know, I think that everyone should be in therapy, but I know that not everyone is open to it. So even though everyone should be in therapy, I do recognize it is not for everyone because everyone is not ready to go to the places that you may go in therapy. But it's for me and I really needed that session. Last week I actually was like, hey, like, do you have any cancellations this week? Because I'm going through it. That's not at all what I said. I was like, hi, like, I was just wondering if you happen to have any openings, like, no worries if not, like, we could totally keep our normal appointment if you don't have anything. She didn't. But I'm kind of glad I saw her today instead of a day earlier next week because I feel like I had more things, I had more time to kind of like process on my own and kind of like just work through the things that I was feeling, try and maybe also not even just work through it, but try and like get like a sense of how I'm feeling and like be able to articulate myself better. Anyways, and now we're doing some makeup. I did cry, but not that much. I don't totally know what we're gonna get into in this vlog. Tomorrow I do have a nail appointment and honestly, I'm thinking of just getting the same exact color because I really like it, but you can see just how grown out these nails are. But I'm debating about just doing this color or doing the dark brown I got last time. I will put different pictures of what I'm thinking. Obviously, you're gonna see the nails tomorrow. But I really want to do navy, but I feel like I want to wait until the winter time. And I also have a little Christmas tree with some ornaments and stuff. So I want to put that up, I think, today. I want to film it for TikTok and also film it with you guys. I was waiting on getting ornament hooks and I got these over the weekend. That's basically going to be it for the makeup, you guys. I might do a little bit of this. Yeah, I'll do some of this for color. I really want to get the new road lippy. I did like a cinnamon, because so it's cinnamon roll, right? That's the new limited one that comes out on Thursday, I think. I think I'm going to do the birthday duo and I'm going to get the lippy and then the, the blush in the shade Sleepy Girl. But I did like a little look, so I'll show it right here. And I'm so happy with how it came out. I really like it. Um, but I was just feeling really inspired after seeing those pictures of Hailey Bieber. And that was like the first day I was really feeling inspired. I filmed that last Friday. And that was the first day I had been feeling actually like inspired to film something in a long time. That's just our minimal makeup today. I'm gonna go film a coffee video. I'll bring you guys, but I'm gonna film it for TikTok. I haven't filmed like a make a nice coffee with me in forever, but I got a new creamer which I had never seen before. I have never seen it online. I had never seen it in store. And so when I saw it at Sprouts, I was like, I need to get this. Okay, this is the creamer. Freaking apple pie. Have you guys ever seen this? I'm really excited to try it. Here's my little coffee with the apple pie creamer. This is actually really good. When I had the first sip, I wasn't totally convinced. It was like, it's pretty apple forward. And it definitely is more of like an artificial apple flavor, but I didn't want it to taste just like the cinnamon coffee cake. Like I was thinking maybe it's just gonna taste like spice, like there's not gonna be enough apple flavor in there. No, it's good. 
Honestly, when you sniff it, it smells like green apple flavor and then like cinnamon spice, but it's really tasty. And I feel like it's the perfect in between as we transition from like pumpkin spice season to peppermint mocha season. But yeah, I love it. I'm gonna give it a solid eight. And if you're wondering, I got this cup from Target last year, but I'm sure they have something similar. I'll try and find a similar one and link it for you guys because who doesn't love a little seasonal cup? But I will not be a proponent of saying that you need every seasonal cup, but like one or two. Anyways, I think now I'm gonna start doing a little bit of food prep, ingredient prep. One like for lunch, but also just for the week. I have some chicken. I thought out some chicken. These are chicken thighs and then this is chicken breast. The chicken breast is for me and then the chicken thighs are for my parents. I won't cook the chicken thighs until tonight. That way they're like hot and fresh for my mom to eat them, to like have some tonight. And there should be enough for leftovers. And then I'm gonna make this right now. So that way I have something to eat for lunch because I'm gonna start getting hungry pretty soon. And I'm also going to cook up some purple sweet potatoes. Okay, here's my lunch. I did some of the sweet potatoes. So this is chicken from Sprouts, like already cooked that I got the other day and then I did half of a salad kit. I'll show you which one. And there she is up close. On my bed here working on gift guides for the last couple hours or yeah, I guess like an hour and a half or so after doing some meal prep. And it sounds kind of silly, but it does take quite some time, especially like trying to find things that like not everyone has already included because I feel like it's a little bit late in the game. Thanksgiving kind of snuck up on me, but I'll show you what I'm working on so far. So this one right here is like gonna be a boyfriend's gift guide. This one is for the girl who has everything. And then I was gonna do separate ones for like the homebody and then like the wellness, maybe like Pilates girl, I don't know what I wanna call it. But so far it's kind of combined um, but I might separate them, but I like how this one is starting to look. So I don't know if I'll end up separating them. And then I also made, I do like a Christmas list for my family. I have like a Google doc, a Google sheet, and I create a tab for everyone. And honestly, like, I feel like I should create a template to share because it's been so helpful. I have on there, I'm trying to find it, but let me figure out how to, maybe I'll block out everyone's name. Top, I have a spot for sizes. So I have shoe sizes, top sizes, bottom sizes, gift cards. So like, so you could put places where you would be okay with a gift card from there and anything to avoid. And then I have for every item, like the item, color, size, etc. the link to the item, the price, I have a want scale on our list, so you can do one, two, or three, and then any additional notes that you might wanna add. And I have a tab for everyone in our family. And it's really helpful because then you don't have to go asking like, you know, one person in the family, hey, do you know what so-and-so wants? Do you know what so-and-so wants? The only thing is that you do have to kind of like talk to each other to figure out like, oh, what did you get? So like. Other people know what they're getting you, but you don't know what anyone is getting you. Cause that's also like, you're not really directly telling anyone. So you don't know like who may get you what. So I, Thanksgiving totally snuck up on me. Also the sun has gotten away from me today. It looks like the sun's already starting to set. It's 4.09. So I don't think I'll be able to film a TikTok today, but at least if I can finish making all of these little like photos. So that way I can film them tomorrow or at least like one or two of them tomorrow and then get one posted ASAP to give people ideas and um, and then also link everything, which none of this is hard work at all whatsoever. It is just time consuming to do is like all the little details and going through and linking everything, making sure that I'm copying and pasting links to everything so then I can refer back to them and that way I don't have to like look up the item again. It's like, it's after six, I'm cooking. Cooking, I don't know if I showed you guys. I definitely did not show you guys, but I marinated some chicken, some chicken thighs. I did like a cilantro lime marinade, really simple, just lime juice, cilantro, a lot of garlic, 
salt, pepper, cumin, paprika, and a little bit of red chili flakes for some spice. And I'm just cooking those right now for my parents. I'm charging my laptop. <laughs> and then I'm also steaming some broccoli and cauliflower. We have the rice, so that's their dinner. And then I was washing some dishes. Just like, I feel like Mondays for me tend to be what like, like my kind of like my weekly reset. I don't usually do a lot of filming on Mondays. That's just kind of been what it is. But yeah, so I probably won't film much for the rest of the day. I think I'm gonna watch my old ass later. I put it on while I started cooking and I was like, hey, you're supposed to watch a movie while you're not doing anything else. So I don't know if I had already said that, but I'm really challenging myself to not multitask, not try and always be productive while I'm doing other things. And I think we'll talk about that more later. I don't really wanna get into that right now, but I do wanna talk about that with you guys. situation i have my nail appointment this morning i want to be out of here by like 10 30 10 45 i'm trying to fix my slick back am i the only one that hates doing a slick back like two days in a row the second one never turns out as good like trying to do a slick back on already slick back hair um but we're making do because i just Time got away from me yesterday and I was like, oh wait, my hair is slicked back. I should have washed it, but I am gonna wash it today. Like I said, it's like 9.40, 9.45 right now. And I wanna try and film two TikToks before I go. So one of them is gonna be a get ready with me because obviously I have to get ready. I don't have to, I want to do a little makeup. Um, and then I wanna film one of the gift guide videos because I posted the gift guides on Instagram stories like an hour ago, but I wanna film the TikToks. And I really wanted to take myself to a coffee shop after my nail appointment and do some reading and or editing while I'm there. But I was like, well, I have to film. Like I have to film um, the gift guide videos after my nail appointment, so I need to come straight home. And then I was like, well, if I film one now, then I won't have to worry about rushing home to film a couple of things. So if I am able to do that, which, you know, we're kind of <laughs> running out of time here, I would have three videos filmed, the get ready with me, one of the gift guide videos, and then the nail vlog. But that might be a little ambitious because while I am gonna do just like minimal makeup, it's gonna be just like a little minimal makeup look, um, talking videos take me a while, so I don't know if I realistically have enough time, but we are gonna give that a try. And I'll let you guys know how it goes. Also like fixing my ponytail because the pony was looking a little funny after I had it tied up while I showered. I showered after my workout. I showered and I had breakfast. So that's already done. Washing my hands, getting the gel off of my hands right now. How does that look? Oh, it could be smoother. See, this is where I get myself into trouble. I also need to stop at Ralph's and there is a Ralph's next to my nail salon but um, I'm out of bread, so I need to grab some bread. And I might get ingredients to make cinnamon rolls because I've been wanting to make some. Okay, is that better? A little bit, barely. I don't think it's even that much better. And now the top is not as smooth. Oh well, oh well, oh well, oh well. I'm using the Crown Affair gel. This stuff smells so good. This is not my best slick back, you guys. But oh well. We'll do some of this hair oil. 
ponytail. The ponytail. Okay. And now I'm gonna go get ready, film a get ready with me for TikTok, and I will see you guys once my makeup is done, and hopefully, once I'm done with two videos. Mission accomplished, you guys. I filmed one gift guide and the get ready with me. I also changed like five times because I just wasn't liking how things were looking on camera, but I think I am gonna change back into my navy crew neck. Okay, and this is what I changed into. I feel so cozy. I haven't worn this since like last winter, I feel like, because it hasn't been cold enough. And I forgot how much I love this fleece. This is from Aritzia. I don't know if they still have this because I got this either last Christmas or two Christmases ago. It might have been two Christmases ago. But how cute is this colorway? I feel like it matches my makeup really well too. So I am about ready to go. I don't even know if it's cold enough outside for this. Sorry about the noise. It's my neighbor's gardener. <laughs> um, but I'm gonna go ahead and pack my bag perhaps pack a tote for the coffee shop because now I'm leaning towards going. You guys, I ended up going with this beautiful brown. This isn't the same brown I got last time. I was like, let's be a little different. So this one, the brand is Caramia and it's number 126. Another brown I really like is D&D 53, and I almost got that. That's what I got two times ago. Um, but yeah, I'm really happy with them. I figured November into the beginning of December is like the last time of the season I can have brown, and then it'll be like dark reds. Maybe I'll do navy the next time once it's December. I think I'm gonna go ahead and head to a coffee shop. I stopped into Ralph's and I got the bread, but it's in my trunk. I was gonna get the stuff for cinnamon rolls, and then I was like, I can't do that if I'm gonna go to a coffee shop because the things that I need for cinnamon rolls that I don't already have, whole milk and cream cheese. And that is perishable and I don't want that sitting in my car. Okay, that was a nice little time I had, productive. I didn't do any like leisure reading because it's about to be three and I kind of just wanted to get out of there. Where's my lip balm? Oh, there it is. But yeah, that was nice. It was a little bit loud in there, but not, not that bad. Yeah, we'll see what else. I feel like there was something I needed to do, but I can't remember. Fortunately, slash unfortunately, I remembered I have to wash my hair tonight and blow dry it. So that's what I'm gonna do now that I'm home. I honestly, I, I really don't want to. It's just, it's gonna be a whole thing, you know? But I need to. I did, however, come home to a cute little PR package. I know where it's from. If you recognize this font, you will know. But I'll tell you guys, it's from Voicemails. And I'm really excited because I think that it has some of their holiday scents in there. I also need to eat. I'm really hungry. Luckily, there's food, so I can just whip something up. But I'm gonna eat and then hop in the shower and then I'll check in with you guys after that because I don't want myself to procrastinate. But let's see. Oh my gosh, cute. A little variety pack of their fragrances. Vanilla Era, Insensorial, Broken Rosary, and Holiday Smells. Those all sound so intriguing. I wish I had the notes for them all handy so I could talk about them. But whoa, look at these, these are so cool. Oh, oh my gosh, Broken Rosary <laughs> reminds me of church. I grew up Catholic. I am not religious anymore. I don't think I ever really was, but oh, Insensorial is really nice. Wait, that kind of feels like what I was smelling when I sniffed this. Okay, I'm not really smelling this one. I'm going to spray it in the cap. Oh, oh my gosh. What is that? That, that, rem oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. That is... <laughs> That scent is really nostalgic. This one does not smell like church. Insensorial does. Whoa. Broken Rosary reminds me of a baby perfume I used to wear. Broken Rosary is like really fresh and clean actually. Holiday smells. Oh my gosh. 
That is so cute. That smells like a Christmas cookie or something. Like I'm baking. Not a Christmas cookie, like a gingerbread cookie or something like that. It's a little spicy. Oh, Vanilla Era is a little sexy. Oh, what does this remind me of? I like Vanilla Era and I don't tend to like scents that are super duper sweet. I know that I'm giving some really basic like first impressions on these because I don't know what the notes are. I haven't really had a chance to sit with them. But so far I like them all, which is very rare because I am pretty picky when it comes to fragrances. And I've never actually smelled any of Boy Smells' fragrances. I have a candle. I don't know where it is. I don't know what I did with it. But I have a candle that I got for, um, I got it as a gift one year. I had it on my Christmas wish list, and my sister-in-law picked it out for me. Oh my gosh, look! And this is a candle, Holiday Smells. I'm gonna put this on my dresser. Well, not yet, because I gotta take pictures of all of this when I have better lighting, so tomorrow. I have a big stack of PR that I've been waiting to crack into until I have good lighting, because I like to post pictures of everything on stories, but maybe we'll open all of that together manana. I finished my hair. I feel like I look bald when I don't have my eyelashes curled, but I didn't film doing my hair because I feel like I always show my blowout routine in the vlog. It's Wednesday morning. I've been filming a morning vlog for TikTok, which is why I hadn't picked up the camera yet, but I'm just responding to some emails right now. I'm thinking I'm gonna go ahead and start editing that TikTok. I think that I'm gonna have a lot of footage to go through because I filmed everything. I've been doing more like casual morning vlogs lately, which are a little bit quicker to put together and it's just kind of like handheld clips. But today I did more so kind of like my usual, the style that I used to do a lot more like setting up the tripod and like just really natural, just like taking you guys along and trying to focus on the ASMR. So yeah, so I have quite a bit of footage to go through and I have a meeting at 11.30. Let's double check. I think it's at 11.30. I'm really excited. I probably won't be able to share what the meeting is about, but I have that at 11.30. It should only be half an hour. I wanted to make sure that I was like ready and obviously it's 10.30, I'm totally ready. I worked out, I also made breakfast, I threw my bedding in the wash and um, got ready, changed and stuff. And now I'm just, like I said, responding to emails, waiting until that meeting. Probably gonna start editing. I kind of do want to tidy my room as well, but honestly, that can wait until after my meeting. You guys, there's 30 minutes of footage. Here. I know this is from Milk and this is from Frenchie and here are the rest of the goodies. Okay, first you guys, I have never been so excited about a PR package. This is from Charlotte Tilbury. I have been using Charlotte Tilbury products since I was like 14 or 15, which was in like 2014, 2015 when they were very new and I had gotten my makeup done at Nordstrom one time and the girl that I happened to get paired with happened to work at the Charlotte Tilbury counter and so that's how I learned about Charlotte Tilbury and I've been using the setting powder ever since so this is honestly so exciting. Okay, let's open this. I hate ruining the bow. Oh, this one I don't even have to untie. I love that and I should reuse this for a gift this holiday season, I will. Definitely be doing that. Okay. You guys are seeing it first. What is it? Actually, they did tell me what they were sending me. Okay. Oh, okay. Magical Black Friday sale. So there's that. We have a little sticker here. So we will rip that. 
you guys. Oh my goodness. I totally ruined the wrapping. I'm gonna take a quick picture and then we will go through it all. And I don't think I've actually used any of these products. Sunkissed Glow Bronzer. I got to pick the shade and I picked the shade One Fair Pale because I was like, I want something that I'm gonna be able to use immediately now. And I am pretty pale right now. <gasps> oh my gosh, that is stunning. Look at that. All of Charlotte Tilbury's products are so luxe. Gorge. I'm using this tomorrow for sure. Contour and the Glow Wand. These are like the viral products and I've never used these. I have never tried them. Um, this is the highlighter in the shade Spotlight. And then I got the contour wand in the shade Fair Medium. Some skincare, which their skincare is really luxe. Feels really nice. I've used the Magic Cream before and it is really lovely. So this is the Magic Hydrator Mist, and then this is the Glow Toner. And then this right here is a Collagen Superfusion Facial Oil. Next we have two boxes from Maybelline. This one, oh, this is trash. I actually, I don't know why I didn't throw this out. That's old. We have one new box from Maybelline, and this is full of lippies, you guys. I have wanted to try these lifter glosses for so long, and I've heard really good things about the lifter liners, so I'm happy that now, look at that, I have so many. I already talked about this candle, which smells delicious. We have this cute package from Frenchie. I have a feeling that this is the Moon Milk or whatever it's called, the, the limited edition one. I'm hoping it is because I've seen so many people rave about it, but I've been hanging on to this box for the last couple of days because I keep forgetting to utilize the light to take a picture. And this bow is gorgeous. Okay, this bow we are gonna have to ruin. Whoever tied this, tied it so beautifully. I don't want to. I won't ruin it. I'll just stretch the ribbon if I can. Yeah, okay. Let's see, you guys will see this one first too. Usually they have like, oh wait. Okay. What is it you guys, tell me. Okay. Well, it's kind of hard to tell, huh? What is this? <gasps> is it a mug? Oh my gosh. Oh, and it's a camping mug. These are my favorite types of mugs. Oh my goodness. Okay. Now that is a perfect PR inclusion. Oh my gosh. Honestly, you guys, I am so grateful for these packages. You have no idea. Look at that. So cute and perfect for all year round. Warmth and gratitude, moon milk, hair, body, and linen mist. Meet your warmth and gratitude ritual. We have a little discovery set. And then the moon milk is hidden in here. I thought it wasn't in here, but it is. Oh my gosh, should we do a first impression? Spraying it is kind of bold of me though. Like a seal. Ooh, oh, that smells really nice. Oh my gosh, it's like spicy, like gingerbread. That's really cozy, but it has like a brightness to it. Okay, and then we have this from the team at Milk. I think that this is an advent calendar. I like to actually open an advent calendar like day by day and not just open it all at once. So maybe we can start opening. Well, we won't start opening this until December, right? Let's see. Whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh my gosh. How cute is that? Oh my goodness. Okay, it says what it has. <gasps> oh, this is so cool. A couple of more goodies that were in different packages combined into one. So I'll just show you. I'll go through what we've got here. This was from a PR package from DP Hue. They sent me two of the glossy glaze in the sheer transparent shade. So this is supposed to give me a nice little 
shiny glaze on my hair and then this is their apple cider vinegar hair rinse which i have been so curious about i have seen this a lot on tiktok and instagram from cetaphil they sent me two of their serums i used to use the cetaphil cleanser and the moisturizer religiously they sent me the vitamin c serum and the ceramide serum cetaphil is a classic for a reason this is a flanker to the classic ysl leave this is the flowers and flames one i didn't want to open it because maybe i could gift this to someone but i am really curious about how it smells because i've heard some people say that this is the best flanker i have a love-hate relationship with leave i know a lot of people love it I had an experience not that long ago when I smelled it on another person and I knew that they were wearing it and I felt like I felt sick. I was like, it's too much. Please stop. And that's coming from someone who has worn it several times. I have it. I have another flank or two and I like it. I've worn it, but I really didn't like it the day I smelled it. Um, so I haven't worn it since then, but willing to give this a chance. I totally forgot to wrap up the vlog yesterday on Wednesday night. That's that was my plan, but I did mention earlier in the video that I had wanted to talk about something that came up in therapy. So I did want to kind of close out the vlog with this little topic, which was just sort of related to the idea of hobbies and um, I think like taking time for oneself and, and maybe even that it goes hand in hand with the idea of self-care, but um, in therapy, I, I kind of came to this realization, and honestly, I came to this realization in a conversation that I was having with Matt over the weekend. So it didn't come up in therapy, I brought it up in therapy. And it was this realization I had that I don't really allow myself to do things just for the sake of doing them. Um, and I feel like I've become a little bit disconnected from sorts of like hobbies, and not even hobbies, because I was talking about this with my therapist and we started off with this overarching topic this idea of things that i'm passionate about things that we're passionate about whatever and she was telling me like you know not everyone can name those things like that's kind of an intense word and it's kind of an intense concept like passion what does that even mean and she was kind of like poking at me to kind of question those ideas and suggested that i bring it even like a step lower about like hobbies and even if that feels difficult to conceptualize, like things that I'm good at or things that I enjoy, things that I like to do. And so I just bring that up in case that is something that resonates with you. If the idea of things that I'm passionate about feels too intense and maybe like high level and you feel like, well, I don't know, what am I passionate about? Even if hobbies feels like, you know, you don't really, you can't think of what hobbies you might have. Maybe you're having difficulty thinking of that. For me, hobbies felt apt. Um, but I realized that I constantly feel like I need to be being productive. And even if I am doing something that I really enjoy, like I love watching movies. There's a reason why I went to film school, you know, there's a reason why I had sort of this like passion for that world. But lately I found like I can't even watch a movie without doing something else which is why I like challenged myself to just watch the movie, not go on my phone, not open my laptop, not be editing a video, not be scrolling, not be um, even like texting, responding to a message, like just really trying to be present with myself and with the, the art in front of me. And I want to continue trying to do that with other things as well, aside from movies and even aside from reading, like baking. Something I mentioned in therapy was even that like, you know, if I think, okay, well, I'm gonna bake, then I think, well, I need to vlog it or I need to make a TikTok. And then that kind of like creates this sort of barrier. And I think that's okay. Like it's okay to make something like kill two birds with one stone, you know? And I, I think there is a time and place for that. And I don't think it's necessarily a bad thing that I tend to do that, but I think that it would be nice if I could allow myself to sort of just enjoy these things for the sake of doing them. Enjoy reading just to read and not feel like, oh, well, I should be doing something else. I should be doing that. I, I have a tendency to kind of like guilt trip myself and tell myself, no, you should be doing this other thing. And what I find is that a lot of times I'm just 
not even doing one or the other. Instead, I'm just focused on, no, 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 no. you shouldn't be doing this right now. You should be doing this other thing. And, and kind of like going through this like spiral in my head rather than just either fully allowing myself to, you know, unwind, relax, do the thing that I really want to do then, or doing the thing that I feel I should be doing, the quote unquote productive thing. Um, the effect is that, oh, well, you're not doing either. <laughs> And I was talking about this on live today, was that like the idea of multitasking and maybe I'm watching a movie and I'm editing a video and you know, my my attention is not 100% with either task. It's not 100% with the movie, it's not 100% with the editing. And so I'm not even giving either thing my full self. And so I'm only doing myself a disservice. So I don't know, that was something that, that's something that I'm kind of working through in my head and, and going to continue challenging myself to work on. I feel like I want to get into doing more things with my hands, like whether that's crafts, I'm really interested in exploring pottery, but you guys know I love my nails. So I don't know how that will bode. Um, I love to read, but just like doing things that will occupy my hands, occupy my mind and be a sort of release, some sort of um, other activity outside of this constant need to feel productive and also detaching from that shame and that need to be like productive and questioning like well what does that even mean rest can also be productive enjoyment is is productive um I think that I know I've been kind of vague about kind of like the how I was feeling the last two weeks but I another idea that entered my brain was that like how you live your life is how you go about how you go about your life is how you go about your day something like that I forget what the exact quote is and so you know you can always feel like oh well I'm waiting until this I'm waiting to do x until y happens I'm waiting to try out y until I achieve z and in the meantime life is going by so you might as well just do the thing now um, so yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I got a little vague towards the end there, but really it is just all about like trying to find enjoyment and trying to find enjoyment in the little things. Life is meant to be lived and life is meant to be enjoyed and, and trying not to lose sight of that. I'm gonna go ahead and close out the vlog here. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me in this week's vlog. I will be back to posting more consistently. Let me know what kind of other videos you would like to see from me and don't forget to subscribe if you're not already as well as give this video a like if you liked it. But other than that, I will talk to you guys later. Bye.